Hi guys, today's video is all about how I clean and uh, waterproof my boots. So we're going to show you how I use one of the best things I've ever bought for about 15 quid. It's uh, called the Boot Buddy. So I'm just going to take you through what a Boot Buddy consists of. I'll go outside, clean my boots, and then I'll show you how I waterproof them afterwards. So a nice short video on that. So the Boot Buddy comes in a nice box, say 15 quid. Comes with a rag and then the Boot Buddy itself. Really simple design. I'm an engineer, I love simple designs. There's a brush on one end, there's a reservoir of water, and then there is a scraper at the back end. So you scrape all your excess mud off. And then what basically happens is, I'll just show you, because I just filled this up earlier. Um, for some reason I filmed it on super wide, but basically that reservoir, you simply take the end off, fill it with water. Put that back on. You then have two settings on here. You can hear it click once and twice. So you can have a different flows. I tend to have it quite open. And then while you're scrubbing, you simply squeeze that and the water comes out. It will flow out naturally anyway. That is as simple as it gets. So quite tough and resilient, you know, well-made, firm construction. I've had mine about two or three years. I clean my boots, obviously, on a weekly basis. That's still going strong. So what we'll do now, we'll go and clean my boots, which have been sat outside for two weeks. So I went on that uh, uh, walk on the old aircraft Rex, which I'll uh, put a link up to just here now. Um, and then, yeah, um, I'll give them a good clean. So the, wood, the mud should be quite dry. They've had, uh, been in the bog water of Kinder, so they'll be quite black. So we'll see how it fares with that. Uh, I'll also put a link up to uh, uh, the site where you can buy these things for, as I say, really good value. I think they're on offer at the moment as well, from what I saw. They were down from 20 quid to 15. I think when I bought them, they then just started coming out and they were about a tenner. But still, well worth it. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll pop outside, give the boots a good clean. So, right, here we go. So, I've loosened the laces off, as you can see. These are pretty muddy from last week. The mud's all dried on. So simply, we'll scrape it off with a scraper first. Any chunky bits. I'll do the same on the other one. Thread. Not that you need to, but I'm always for anything for an easy life. And uh, yeah. Okay, so open it up to full max. Tuck those in there. And then simply you can just clean it like this. Squeeze it while you're doing it. Down this side here, just watch your own feet. And there, yeah, get in there. Got that Kinder Scout modern crap out because it is quite acidic peat. So it can stain your boots like a badger liner. <laughs> As you can see, even this dry mud. It's just coming off so easily. Just a bit round the back here. And then inside here, really. You may have to refill it for each boot, potentially, but... Wish I had this when I was getting dog shit out of my kids boots. <laughs> Squeeze the water when you need it. 
to wash off any of the crap. Admire the Crocs. Little quick ones over. That is in pretty good shape. So that's used about one. One lot of water. But there you go. That is pretty damn fucking clean, and that's took me what literally a few minutes. If uh, um, I'll let them dry and knit wax them, so that's the right boot done. On to the left boot. So, next one, just the left boot, and again. Squeeze, squeeze and brush, simple as that. <laughs> it really is super cool mate, not getting water everywhere too much, I'm getting soaked in it. Give yourself a bit of room so you don't spray yourself too much. Get in there, get all that peat bog shite out. What I will do, I'll put a link in. I may possibly have a discount code as well, but um, I'm just working on that at the moment. But I'll put a link in. Um, anything for a bit of money off? Like I say, I think they're an offer on at the moment. They're about 15 quid, and normally about 20, or well, it might be 17 quid. Anyway, well worth it. Well worth it. Uh, even that, I mean that mud's been dried on for two weeks and as you can see it's off very easily I sometimes, to be honest with you, I find it's easier once it's dried a bit that it's as simple as it gets quick wipe down I'll let them dry out a little not for long I'll just stick in front of a slightly warm radiator and then I'll uh, use my Granger's so knit wax into a lot of sorts, all sorts of different products. I just like the old wax and a bit of you know, rubbing it in. But yeah, as you can see there, they're fine now. Bit of knit wax. And they'll be good as new. Always good to look after your boots. Because uh, you only got one pair of feet. Okay, right. So next bit is uh, let them dry. Front of the radiator. And then... Uh, yeah, 
and we'll crack on and wax them up. So, grieve the carpet, leave them there just to dry a little bit, and then yeah, we'll crack on and wax them up. Right, guys, so this is the stuff I use uh, Granger's G Wax. I used to use Knit Wax, but uh, a lot of their products seem to be like all these new liquid uh, applicants, and I'm a bit old fashioned to be honest with you. So I prefer a bit of this Granger's G Wax. Got a couple of tids of that always lying around. Just use a rag. See, that one's been well used, and it is really just a simple case of getting some on there. Warm it up a bit sometimes. Some people do do that. Uh, I'm not a, a bit old fashioned myself. This is dried enough now. And then we just rub it in. It's simple as this. I'll just show you on one boot. Because I'm sure, you know, you get quite bored if I uh, <laughs> do it on two boot. And it really is just as simple as that. Everywhere. Don't be afraid to do it quite liberally. Bit cold today, so it's a bit. It's a bit warm. Getting all these nooks and crannies. That's the thing to do. And uh, this stuff will protect your boots, make them waterproof. That high class week in Kinder Scout, I had no issues at all with water getting into my feet. They were dry as a bone, despite going through those bogs. Obviously, the gaiters helped. But the boots were quite wet underneath but I normally apply this not necessarily every time if I've gone out and it's been quite wet I probably will if not then I'll probably do it if I notice the leather starting to dry out a bit because what you don't want it doing is uh, splitting that's the last thing you need so that's it really nice and simple get the wax all around the seams, these are stitched as you can see, not always glued. I've always had scarpers, never had a problem with them, they just seem to fit my feet. Although my toes are still hurting from the other week, <laughs> my feet slipped in the buff, and that was my fault. I don't think I'd laced them up particularly well. So, yeah, that's it, doesn't take long. You can put more than one coat on when you first do it. Which is what I did when I first bought them, but now I'm really just topping it up. Uh, these things are, you know, as waterproof as you can get. Never let a drop in, unless it goes over the top. <laughs> so, yeah. Not the most exciting thing to do, but, you know. Keeps your feet dry, mate. Nothing worse than getting wet feet if you're out on a hike, particularly if it's early on. These to blisters, foot rot, and anyone who knows me, my feet. <laughs> Trench foot isn't the word for it. So, and if you feel like it uh, needs a bit more, let it dry in between coats a bit. Say so some people do warm it up. I've heard of that before. I've never ever done that myself. I've always just uh, applied it like this. Really get it in there, all those nooks and crannies. Also the tongue needs doing. So you know, open the laces right up. So you can really get into all those nooks and crannies. So if not, that'll be the bit where you uh, end up having a leak. So, yeah. Doing that because tomorrow, hoping to go and find a couple more aircraft wrecks up by Lady Bower and then have a wander over to Allport Castles, which is meant to be, you know, a really good about an eight mile hike. Not too severe in terms of ascent. I probably just need to make sure I get there in time to. Uh, you know, um, get a parking spots, it can be quite popular there, it's where the, uh, the reservoir and Lady Bower is. So um, there's a couple of wrecks in that area. So uh, we'll go and see if we can find them. And then in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping to be out looking at some stone circles with uh, a guy off Instagram. 
so uh, plenty happening. Thanks for all those who are continuing to support the channel. Very early days at the moment, but any ideas on feedback or things you'd like to see, you know, let me know. Hit the like and subscribe, I'd be really appreciated. So there you are, rinse and repeat for the next boot, and uh, those things are ready to go. Job done. Simple as that. <laughs>